it's cold outside. I need my coat to keep me warm. But now that I'm inside, I can take off my coat and hang it up. Aren't you glad that you have a coat to keep you warm when it's cold? I sure am. In our story today, Jacob gives his son a very special coat. But first, let me tell you about our new Bible verse. It's Hosea 13, 4. It says, Yet I am the Lord thy God from the land of Egypt, and thou shalt know no God but me, for there is no Savior beside me. Hosea 13, 4. This verse tells us that we should put nothing before God because only He can save us. Try to say the verse with me this time. Hosea 13, 4. Yet I am the Lord thy God from the land of Egypt, and thou shalt know no God but me, for there is no Savior beside me. Hosea 13, 4. In today's story, Jacob's son Joseph goes to Egypt. Let's find out what happens. You'll find our story in Genesis 37. Let's go! Jacob had 12 sons. They were Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. But Jacob had a favorite son, Joseph. So Jacob made Joseph a special colorful coat. It was beautiful, but Jacob didn't make a special coat like that for any of his other sons. So they were jealous of Joseph and started to be mean to him. One day, Joseph told his brothers about a dream he had. In his dream, he and his brothers were putting together bundles of grain. Suddenly, Joseph's bundle stood up and his brother's bundles bowed down to his. The dream meant that Joseph would rule over his brothers. As you can imagine, this didn't exactly make his brothers happy. In fact, they were very angry with Joseph. Then Joseph had another dream. In this dream, Joseph saw the sun, moon, and 11 stars all bowing down to him. This dream meant that Joseph's family would one day all bow down to him. And for some reason, Joseph told his brothers about that dream too. And they were even more jealous and began to hate Joseph. Some time later, Jacob sent Joseph to go check on his brothers who were watching the sheep. When his brothers saw Joseph coming, they teased and said, here comes the dreamer. Their jealousy of Joseph was so strong that they decided to kill Joseph. But one brother, Reuben, said, let's just throw him into a pit. When Joseph came, his brothers grabbed him took his colorful coat and threw him into a pit. Then they saw a caravan of people heading to Egypt. They decided to sell Joseph to the travelers as a servant. The travelers took Joseph to Egypt. The brothers took Joseph's colorful coat, tore it and stained it red. They brought the coat to their father and made him believe that Joseph was attacked by beasts. Jacob cried loudly because he thought his favorite son was dead. Poor Jacob. Joseph's brothers did not like him, but God had a plan for Joseph. God would protect and use Joseph to rescue his family. This story reminds me of Jesus. Many people did not like Jesus. They killed his body. But Jesus' death was all part of God's plan to rescue sinners. Thank you.